Travel for the long holiday weekend is already underway. From the airways to the roadways, we are expected to see a record number of travelers. KTVU's Dave Detling, live for us this morning at San Francisco International Airport. How is it looking at the gates? It seems a little bit emptier. Maybe that morning rush already passed through. Hey, good morning, Allie. I think everyone got the memo that the best time to fly is early in the morning. When we arrived on scene around 5 a.m., the line's much longer. But behind me, this is a site you rarely see. This is uh, gates C and D. And as you can see, little to no lines here at the TSA checkpoint. You've got to wonder, is everyone just hitting the roads instead of flying? Joking aside, this really does depend on the terminal you're at, um, but things have been running smoothly here at SFO, and that's a good thing. The airport is expected to serve 140,000 people flying in and out by Monday. Oakland International Airport expected to serve 130,000 flyers. Now, all this supports what travel experts are saying. Airports across the country are expected to see an uptick in passengers over years past. Now, whether it's by car or plane, Memorial Day weekend is projected to be the third busiest on record. Airports are expected to be packed with more than 17 million passengers flying out across the U.S. Uh, through the weekend through Monday. That's according to the travel app Hopper. Talking to people flying out of SFO, they say the name of the game is traveling, traveling earlier in the morning. What goes through your mind as you prepare? Stress about getting there on time and not missing my flight. And what did you do to prepare? I got up early and I just got here as quickly as I could. Looking at that line, how does it look to you? I mean, it looks it's not bad. I, I'm surprised. I was happy to see that things aren't as impacted as I thought, but it's early. And we can't leave out those traveling by car. Road trips are up 6% over last year. AAA estimates more than 37 million Americans will drive to their destinations this holiday weekend. And the reason for that possible up uptick when it comes to people getting behind the wheel is that decrease in gas. Experts say it's down about a dollar per gallon from years past. But again, here the line at gate C and D for the security checkpoint almost non-existent. So a lot of people uh, flying out early this morning. So if you're coming down, uh, just be prepared just in case uh, we see larger crowds. That's the very latest this morning from San Francisco. Dave Detling, KTVA Fox 2 News. Good stuff, Dave. Thank you.